Welcome to Warren Science Suturing Tutorial. Let's get started. Included in your individual kit is the suture pad, scissors, forceps, needle holder, and booklet. Let's look at each. The suture pad comes with multiple wound shapes. The suture pad resembles human skin with an epidermis, dermis, and sub -Q. Can you tell which layer is which? This image shows you which layers the epidermis, dermis, and sub -Q. Your kit will also have suture threads with a needle attached. After you're finished with this lab, you can come back to this image or to your booklet and learn some different knotting techniques. Now pick up your forceps and make sure you're holding them correctly. Use the image to help. Now do the same thing with the scissors, noting where the pointer finger is located. Now do the same thing again with the needle holder, paying close attention to the fact that your ring finger is in the hole, not your middle finger. Now that you have the needle holder correctly in your hand, let's practice using it to grasp the needle. With the needle holder properly in your hand, you're going to grab the needle itself a little bit, about a third down, and when you grab it, you're going to lock the needle holder in place. So your needle holder and needle should look something like this. All right, now we are ready to start our simple interrupted suture, also known as the knot stitch. Place your suture mat in front of you as shown. Grab your forceps and your needle with needle holder. The forceps are gonna help you hold the skin down while you push the needle through. Now you may have to try a couple times to make sure that the needle comes through close enough, as you can see here. And then you're going to use your needle holder to pull the rest of the needle through. Use the forceps to hold the skin down and pull. Now, because this is practice, you're going to be pulling a lot of string. Normally, when somebody's getting stitches, it's not this long, but we wanna be able to use this multiple times. So you can use the tweezers to help you pull the string all the way to the end, leading just a little bit left. Now, making sure that the thread is loose, you're gonna wrap it around the needle holder once, then twice, opening up your needle holder and grabbing the end of the suture thread. I'm gonna play that for you again in slow motion. Follow along as you watch. Wrap around once. Make sure that the thread is loose. Wrap around twice. Then open up the needle holder and you're going to grab the thread down below. And so now you wanna pull the string taut. You can see that it got stuck a little bit at the end of my needle holder. You wanna to try to avoid that. Now what you may notice is that it's not actually knotted yet, so we have to make our knot. So put the scissors down, as you can see here, and you're gonna wrap around to make a circle around the needle holder. So wrap around once, and then grab the end of the thread and pull through, and now you've actually made your first knot. For practice purposes, you wanna do a couple more throws, which means make a couple more knots. After you have practiced two to four throws, you can get your scissors and cut off the excess thread. And make sure you have a little bit left over on each stitch. And then you're gonna get ready to do this all again, get the needle driver and follow the same steps. Use the tweezers to help you hold the skin down. Use your needle holder to pull the thread and needle through and make sure you leave a little bit at the end. I had to pull mine back a little bit. Doing your two loops again, then grabbing the end of the thread and pulling through. Then you're gonna do your first throw. And when you make your um, thread tight, when you make the knot, you may want to pull it to the other side, like you can see there, to make sure that it is fully secure. Then you're going to cut off the excess again. Okay, so once I get this taken off, we're going to do the whole thing again. I just skipped the part putting the needle through. You can do that on your own. And I'm going to go a little bit slower here to show you step by step without stopping the whole thing an interrupted suture without stopping. So I'm gonna stop talking, just follow the video and pause anytime you need to.
great job. You're gonna continue until the entire wound is sutured or closed. So pause until you're finished. Now we are ready to try another stitch called the figure eight. Okay, so we're gonna pick a different wound on the suture pad. The beginning is the same with the needle driver and the tweezers. Go ahead and pull that needle through and pull the thread to the end, leaving a little bit left over. And now you're gonna do the exact same thing. Put the needle driver through pretty close to the um, other suture and pull the needle through, use the needle holder to pull and use the tweezers to keep the skin down. After the thread is all the way down, you're going to now make two loops, one, two, and grab the end of the thread and pull through. Tighten it by moving your arm to the right and pulling. And when you look at it close up, it's supposed to look like an eight, even though it looks more like a T or an X. Okay, I took the thread out so I can show you one more time. Needle driver through. Use the tweezers to hold the skin down while you pull the needle through. Remember, you're gonna grab the needle driver at the tip and pull the thread all the way to the end, leaving a little bit over. Then you're gonna put the needle driver through again, doing the same thing you did before. Then you're gonna do your loop one, loop two, grab the end of the thread and pull through. Then move your arm to the right to tighten. Now pull it back to the left again, and now you're gonna make your throw. Wrap around once, grab the thread and pull through. Remember, pull it to the right to tighten. Then do it again, wrap around once, pull through and tighten and there you go so at this point go ahead and pause the video so that you can continue until the entire wound is sutured or closed if time permits this would be when you can try some of the bonus sutures or try the knotting techniques that are inside the book so go ahead and get out the booklet that's in your kit and try some of the knots or other sutures if for some reason the booklet is missing from your kit, I have added pictures from the booklet into this video. So feel free to find one that you would like to try and pause the video and go ahead and try it. With at least 10 minutes left, please have your teacher come and check your work. Once your teacher has checked your work, it's time to clean up. You are going to remove each of the stitches with your scissors, being very careful to not cut the suture pad. Please take your time with this and don't rush. and then gently wipe off the suture pad with soap and water. Now making sure all the items are clean and dry, you're gonna place them all back into the suture kit. Please get a new suture thread to place in as well for the next student. I hope you had fun learning how to suture. Thanks for watching Warren Science Suturing Tutorial.